Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today, we are looking at safer phosphates and a review of cadmium groundwater contamination. Is it a threat to human health and the environment? So, we're going to be taking a look and seeing what cadmium actually does to the world around us and to us directly. So, cadmium CD is, for instance, listed as a priority hazardous substance in the EU water framework, which has led to the requirement of management plans to cease cadmium release to the environment. And in addition, the European groundwater directives require member states to have a threshold for cadmium. So you might ask, why are they doing that? It must have some quite catastrophic effects. As we know, cadmium does occur naturally, but can also be released through industry. So taking a look at that, we can also see cadmium in soils and water. So it's worth remembering that this is different insights that can have adverse health effects on the general population and the use of mineral phosphates fertilizers contribute to about 60 percent of current cadmium emissions into soil so a lot of it is coming from human industry it does occur naturally but it's critical to use all the tools to try and reduce soil and crop cadmium concentrations in various regions also in the context it is helpful to understand how this works so we can see such as anthropogenic sources, fertilizers can elevate cadmium concentrations in groundwater as well. So it doesn't just stop at the soil. It can also get into your groundwater. And as we know, it can cause problems with liver, kidneys. And if it doesn't have immediate effects, it does have a half-life of 10 to 35 years. So it can get stored in the bones, causing things like osteoporosis and other conditions. And it's important for maintaining healthy supplies of food and safe drinking water. Yet elevate doses of cadmium are carcinogenic to humans and also the who has guidelines and water quality recommended a guide value of cadmium for three grams a liter and we can see right here what's going on the efforts to clean wastewater inhibit the leachate of contaminated material in land flades and mines and reduce the use of cd cadmium contaminated phosphate fertilizers are necessary to decrease the anthropogenic cd output the review indicates the amount of cd input in the soil as impunity in phosphate fertilizers depends on the origin. Thus, changes in fertilizer management do not consequently result in decreasing crop yields. So it's important to maintain the supply chain of food, and it's important to also protect human life. And to do that, we have to be aware of this, because cadmium can cause problems for both. And one thing to really look at is the impact of contamination on the food chain. Additional scientific research further confirmed the risks posed by the presence of dangerous carcinogenic substances such as cadmium and arsenic in fertilizer products and the need to substantially reduce their levels. Last July, the French Agency for Food, Environmental, and Occupational Health and Safety also published an opinion that the consumption of edible seaweed or the incorporation of edible seaweed as a food ingredient or as a food supplement can consume exposures to cadmium. So that's an issue. A lot of people would say seaweed is healthy, but actually can expose you to cadmium, which is a carcinogen. The analysis document outlined that cadmium could be added to water due to agricultural activities, and their opinion is that the exposure of agricultural lands to cadmium can cause food security risk through soil water food chain transfers. This again highlights that cadmium is known to be carcinogenic, mutagenic, and toxic to reproduction, and prolonged exposure causes kidney damage and bone fragility in humans, particularly from oral exposure via food and drinking water. And it should be, as such, be limited in algae and food. So I agree with a lot of their conclusions here. I also do agree that it is a threat to ecological environments, aquatic life, and human life. That's why it's always a good idea, especially if you're concerned about these issues and your own health, to periodically test your water for high levels of cadmium. 